Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial of PostgreSQL. In this tutorial, I'm going to tell you how to do searching in your arrays. So searching is basically done to retrieve some data that you want uh, to access in your arrays or if you want to put some conditions to sort or uh, filter your arrays, you could just do searching in arrays. So I'll tell you how to do searching. So you could just uh, do select star from uh, sal underscore emp where uh, pay be the first equal to 10,000 or uh, pay of second equal to 10,000 or uh, pay of third equal to 10,000 or uh, pay of fourth equal to 10,000 so this would give me uh, details of those employees whose either uh, first index pay is 10,000, second is 10,000 or third is 10,000 or fourth is 10,000. So you would see only Rishi that is he has only 10,000 salary of the first one. So it gives me this. Otherwise you could just uh, do it again that is select star from sal underscore emp. And you would see that uh, Rahul has 25,000 in all columns, so that is why it does not get included. So this method that we used the last time, that is uh, this one. So this is very complex in case uh, we don't, in case for large arrays, and if we don't know the size of our arrays, so what you could do is uh, a very small step instead of this, you could just use the any operator, that is where. Where uh, thousand ten thousand equals to any pay. Now what this means is that any of the index can be equal to ten thousand. So when you run this query, you would see that. Uh, oops, not this. Uh, you just square brackets. Yeah. So you could see that it gives me the same result as any of the payment can be equal to 10,000. Now uh, similar to this is another operator that is all. So that means the all, all, all the indexes in an array should be equal to a particular field. So for example, we have Rahul who is uh, each and every index equal to 25,000. So if I do all, I will just get this. You would see I get Rahul because all of his indexes are equal to 25,000. So these were the few, few ways in which you could do searching in your arrays. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Subscribe for more and stay tuned.